So it's all done and all ready to start threading. So as you can see there, we've got the, the main register on this first part. Then we've just got the thread lead in here. And then obviously the threads are going to be cut in the back here. So um, cutting the threads is going to be interesting because obviously you can't see what's going on. So um, we'll just have to take it really easy and be really careful. So all we're going to do now is just, um, just break this edge here just to take that sharpness off and then we can start cutting those threads. so we've got the threading bar on so we need to square up the oh let's move the stop out of the way don't need that now we will step the stop again just so we don't crash the bar into the chuck itself and we'll just set up this Check that. Just make sure everything's up nice and tight. Right, and we're all ready to start threading. Um, we're going to take it really easy. We're going to do nice light cuts, you know, and just get in the swing of, um, you know, going in and coming out again. The last thing I want to do is mess this up. And because we're going to be pretty, you know, we're going to be cutting pretty, uh, cutting blind, that's going to be a bit of a headache, but never mind. We just got to concentrate and then um, we should be okay. So I've got all the boring bars set up and that's square on to the face on this workpiece. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to put some layout die in where we want the threads to be cut. And we'll do a scratch pass and then we'll just check that with a gauge just to make sure that we are reading 8 TPI. The gearbox is all set up, got the correct gears for cutting the 8 TPI. And we've just got to sit down here and as you can see we're looking at B1. So we just change the gearbox over to B and one, and then that's ready to cut those gear, uh, cut those um, threads. So we'll just check that thread. Yep, spot on. Right, so now we'll just cut those threads. 
So we wind it back in. I'm not going to do heavy cuts. I'm just going to do some light cuts. So that was our, um, that was the cut where I wanted to start to test the slug in there and just make sure the threads have cut well. They look as though they should be cut deeper, but we will try that in there. First of all, I'm going to just give that a clean out with an airbrush, uh, air gun, and um, just get rid of all the rubbish out of them threads, and then we'll try that slug in there, that plug. So that's all the threads nice and clean so we'll just have a fit and just see how we get on yeah I mean it's started to get you know start to go onto the thread but it needs more machine and so we'll carry on
Right, so I've just done a couple of finishing passes and we should be about there now. Just a bit of the start of that thread is just... Alright, let's have a look and have a test fit and see how we got on. Something's jamming it now. Bit of swarf in there. That's absolutely perfect. No play in that whatsoever. And no, brilliant. Right. So what we'll do now, we'll take the whole lot off, the chuck and everything. We'll flick it over, and then we'll try it on the spindle and see how we get on. And make sure that that fit, fits the spindle. Think out the way. Flick it over and we'll try and see what happens. Yeah, see now that's tight, so we need to take a bit more out. Rubbish in the threads. finishing passes and uh, we should be about about there now I would say anyway I guess
Yep. That's a lot better. And there's no slack in there at all, which is good. Yep, and it goes all the way down to the register. So yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's a job well done. Right, so what we've got to do now is we've just got to turn the outside down, the OD here, to match the register, and then um, we can flick it over and we can start machining the, um, the register for fitting the collet chuck onto. One more pass should do it. We are just over 90 mil and I want to get it down to 90. So that's all this side finished now. So what we're going to do is take that out of the chuck, take the chuck off the spindle and then we'll flick that round and we'll screw that onto the spindle and then we'll start machining ready to um, accept the collet chuck. 